So before this video starts, I just want to say sorry for not uploading too often. It's been tough with school going on and stuff. And if this video helped you, remember to like and subscribe, and let's get right on with the video. Hey, Kung Lao wristbands looking like a hitman, but a nigga trying to hit a lit man. Mm. Took her to the bathroom, fuck it through the zip man, left her leg shaking like the crib dance. Mm. Who that at the front don't think that that's a crib man, pay that man a total no tip man. Mm. Pack it out, pack, got my eyes low, it man, now I'm on go like the red man. Hey, Okay, so I know it's been a bit since I've done a video, and that's just because school just started up for me. I've been studying, and I've been doing my homework and stuff, so that's why I haven't really uploaded in like a week or two. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to upload as frequently, but I'm still going to try to upload as best as I can. And even though I'm not uploading a lot, I'm going to try to make these videos the best quality that I can possibly make them. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best methods and ways to level up in Grand Peace Online. So when you first log into the game, you're going to want to click Customize, and obviously this is where you can customize your character, but the main thing you're going to want to focus on is your race. Now I don't know if it gives you free roles in the beginning, but usually there is codes for roles. So the main thing I guess you're going to want to go for, I guess the best thing, is either uh, mink or fishman. As you can see, I'm a Skypean. It's a 15% uh, fishman's a five, mink's a five. I know with fishman, you can hold your breath longer underwater, and you can actually swim with the devil fruit, which that's actually pretty helpful. I know with mink, uh, you can get mink electro, and uh, you get an extra, or you get a like a stun passive. Now it's okay if you don't get any special roll. It it doesn't matter too much. It's just it's just a cool advantage that you could have over other players. So when you first spawn into GPO, you're gonna spawn at the town of beginnings. And really, the only quest that you're gonna want to do here until you're level 15 is this quest right here. And it's just gonna ask you to kill some bandits. And if you want. You could do the bandit boss quest, but it's really not worth it. I'm pretty sure the um, just the regular bandit quest gives you more XP. I do recommend buying the shovel because in the beginning of the game, it's pretty helpful. All you have to do is just dig in these like sand pits and you can get like, I think like a hundred pelly or something, but it's really helpful for the beginning of the game, and but it won't be too helpful like at all in the long run. So when you're leaving the island, make sure you stop by this little building right here, and this is where you can buy like a caravel or a rowboat. Um, if you don't have enough money to buy a caravel, just buy a rowboat. It's like only a hundred pelly, and if you really want to, you can buy a Denden Mushi. It just allows you to talk to people that are like on a different island. But after you do that, you're gonna want to come over here, uh, get the quest that Kahaku gives you, and it's gonna give you like a water bucket quest. You gotta deliver a water bucket to some to someone in the next island. And so even though it doesn't give you a turn of pose, literally all you're gonna want to do is just go west, and I'm pretty sure the mission gives you an arrow anyways. All you're gonna want to do is just go pretty much straight west and you'll get there. So once you get to Sandora, you're gonna want to give your water bucket to this dude, I'm pretty sure. And then you're gonna want to come over here. You're gonna want to set your spawn point here at Robo. And you're gonna want to get uh, the eternal pose from Bami if you have uh, enough money to. Then really the only quest you're gonna want to farm is this quest right here and it's just gonna tell you to kill these desert bandits which it's pretty simple it's basically the same as the town of beginnings one and you're gonna want to farm this quest until you're about like level level 30 or 40. There is two other quests on this island this one just like I'm pretty sure it just makes you find like a piece of pottery or something and you have to return it to her and this one is a boss quest but I don't recommend doing that one unless you really want to get the bazooka so after you're like level 30 or 40 you're gonna want to head over to uh, the next island which is Shellstown so I probably should have said this when I was recording all you have to do to get to Shellstown from Sandora is just go straight north
Okay, so once you get to Shellstown, you're gonna want to stay here. Okay, so just in case you're wondering how I have the Golden Staff and I have the Goro Fruit, um, this is basically just like a three-day gap in between the last part of the video. So you're level 60, and there is two main quests here. Uh, this one, it's just gonna ask you to come up here and kill some corrupt marines, and it, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. And once you feel like you're not gaining any more levels, or it's getting tougher, you're gonna wanna come behind here. And you're gonna wanna talk to this dude, and he's gonna tell you to kill these shells bandits. Now, there is a boss on this island. If you wanna fight him, I think it's like Axan Morgan. I don't know, forgot, but he does give you like the armor or like the metal jaw or something. I don't know, it's not really worth your time. And if you want, you can come up here to Linda's bar and you can buy like um, a health regen and like a stamina regen potion. But they're not, but they're not really too helpful. I haven't really like seen anyone in my entire like time playing GPO use one of them. Okay, so once you're done with Shellstown, you're gonna want to go to Zoe, and Zoe is like west, uh, southwest. It's like right in the middle. Okay, so once you get to Zo, you can buy your uh, Eternal Pose from Bomi, and you can set your spawn point right here. But the main quest you're going to want to do is talk to this dude, and he's just going to tell you to kill some of the minks. It's pretty simple, and if you stayed at Shellstown until level 60, um, you only have to grind like 5 levels here until level 65, so you can go farm on the Bar Baratier. But if you want to, you can stay here a little longer if you want. It just probably make things a little easier at the Baratier for you. And while we're here at Zoe, if you have Mink, uh, you can go up here and find this little Mink girl. It used to be Carrot. You can talk to her, and I believe she asked for a Carrot, and that's where you get Mink Electro from. So after you're done with Zoe, you should be like anywhere between like level 65 and 70. And so after Zoe, you're going to want to go to the Baratier. And the Baratier is almost directly north from Zoe. Okay, so once you get to the Baratier, you're going to want to get your Atona Pose from Bomi, and you're going to want to come up here, be careful of the uh, NPCs, because they like automatically aggro on you, and sometimes they come out through the door, so be careful of that. But you're going to want to come up here, and I, at least I think this is where you set your spawn. Yep, you're going to want to talk to this dude, and you set your spawn. And while we're at it, this is also where you can get the black leg. So I'm pretty sure he's like... I don't know where he is, but I know he's here somewhere. Okay, so here's the black leg dude. He's like right in front of one of the entrances. Now, like I said, be careful, because especially the shotgunners, like, they really pack a punch. And sometimes they do come right outside the door, so... Okay, so the main quest you're going to want to do is you're going to want to talk to Chef Rice and he's going to ask you to kill uh, 80 of these pirates. And the way you're going to want to do it is you're going to want to somehow aggro them, right? And you're going to want to lead them, like, to the wall so you can easily farm them. And if you have, like, a fruit, which I don't really expect new players at this level to have a fruit, but if you maybe have, like, one sword style, there's a skill that allows you to, like, I don't know, teleport in there. It's like really, really risky, but it has like decent AoE and you can aggro them all at once. And you're just gonna wanna hit them right through the wall.
So you're going to want to stay here until you're about level 85. Then you're going to want to go to Coco Island and you're going to want to get your armament hockey. Okay, so to get to Cory Island from the Barati, you're going to want to go uh, like in between south and southwest. Okay, so once you get to Quarry Island, you can get your eternal post from Bomi, and you're gonna want to go up these first flight of stairs, and you're gonna want to watch out for the Yetis because they will start immediately attacking you. So watch out for that. But you're gonna want to follow the path. Still watch out for the Yetis. And this is the way I did it. I don't know if there's another way to get up here, but I just climbed up this wall. And you're gonna wanna go to this like little house right here. And you're gonna wanna talk to Ray. And he'll give you the quest. Um you need twenty-five thousand um uh, Pelly and he's after that he's gonna ask you to kill a hundred Yetis to get armament hockey. Now killing the Yetis might be hard at first. But you'll definitely get the hang of it. I got it done like one night. It's not as hard as it sounds. And you'll probably gain some good levels here too by farming the yetis. And the next island we're going to be going to is Arlong Park. Now, since I don't have the eternal pose to Arlong Park for some reason, I'm going to be going to Gravitos Fort and then I'm going to find my way to Arlong Park from there. Okay, so on my way to Gravitos 4, I actually found Arlong Park. So once you get here, uh, you're gonna, if you're not already level 105, this is your place to grind. Now, there is a couple missions. Uh, you can fight Arlong, but I wouldn't suggest doing that because me, even as a level uh, 375, I still can't do it solo. You can set your spawn point and get the eternal pose, which I'm probably gonna do. Okay. I can't believe I didn't actually have that yet, but the main quest you're going to want to farm is over here, right behind this wall. And you're going to want to come over here, and you're just going to want to talk to this NPC, and he's just going to tell you to kill some shark pirates. Now you have to remember, these shark pirates are very, very strong for being pretty low level NPCs. And if you try to run away, they'll usually catch up because they are super fast. But you're going to want to stay here until you're about level 105 because after this island, you're going to want to get to Skypea. Okay, so after you're level 105, you're going to want to go to Skypea. And if you watch One Piece at all, you know getting to Skypea is not going to be the same as getting to any other ordinary island.
So as you approach the knockup stream, you're just gonna want to go straight into it. There's really that's all it is to it. But the tricky part is landing like right on the platform because if you don't, you're just gonna fall right through the uh, map. Now, if you have Skypea Glide, it's gonna be much easier for you, or if you have Gepo, but if you don't, you're just gonna have to land it right. So once you get to Skypea, you'll notice there's a lot of little islands, and there's a whole bunch of quests on those islands. But to get up to level 160, I only did two main quests. So I did the first quest, which um, you, this should be pretty easy to find. You just have to take a left and just go up this uh, platform or bridge. And it's just going to ask you to defeat Sky Bandits. And you're going to want to do this quest until you're level uh, 135. Now, after level 135, the other main quest is uh, Sky Castle. And it gives you a decent amount of XP, which is why I just recommend doing th these two quests until you're level 160. And as you're approaching the Sky Castle, on each like individual island, usually there's uh, a robo here so you can set your spawn point. Because otherwise you would be doing the same trip over and over again every time you died and it'd just be really inefficient. Now you just gotta talk to Zen. And this is, uh, this is like a really good quest for XP. You just gotta defeat these castle guards. And they're pretty predictable, so it shouldn't be too hard to get up to level 160. Okay, so after your level 160, the next island you're going to want to go to is Gravitos Fort. And you're going to want to stay there until you're about level 200. Okay, so to get to Gravitos Fort, you're going to want to drop down from Skypea, And then you're just going to want to go northwest. Okay, so once you get to Okay, so once you get to Gravitas Fort, you're going to want to get your uh, eternal pose, set your spawn, and you're going to want to climb up here on these rocks. And you're going to want to walk in the doorway. You're going to want to talk to this NPC, and she'll give you a quest to kill these marines. And you're going to want to do this quest until you're level 180. Because after that, you're going to want to come back here and accept this quest. And this NPC is going to give you the quest to kill more of uh, Gravito's underlings. But I... These, these NPCs are, like, some of the toughest in the whole game that I've ever fought. So you might have a hard time doing this quest, but you're going to want to do it until you're level 200. So after you're done with Gravito's Fort, you should be level 200. And so after Gravitus Fort, uh, we're going to be going to uh, Fishman Island. And to get to Fishman Cave, you're going to want to go northeast, like in between northeast and east. Okay, to get to Fishman Island, you're going to want to uh, get your uh, Eternal Pose if you want, but you're going to have to get a bubble from this dude, and then you're going to have to do a maze to get down to Fishman Island, uh, which I will link a video in the description on how to do the maze.
Okay, so once you get to Fishman Island through the maze, uh, you can set your spawn point, and really, the only quest that you could, that, like, this is, like, one of the best quests in the whole game for XP, and it's just this quest, and it just asks you to kill these fishmen, and it's very simple, very easy, and it gives you a whole lot of XP. Now, I did this quest until I was level 325, and honestly, I recommend you do it too, because it it won't take you maybe less than a night to do. And because in the new world, there's not really a lot of places to grind, I decided to stay here, um, or to go to the new world and come back to the Fishman Island just to grind a little bit more to get up to 375, because at level 3, like 75, it still gives you a decent amount of XP. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If it helped you at all, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next GPO video. We suck up in the stone age Gotta find a way to get back to the more days When the time makes some rhyming through the cold phase Anything to get back to the more ways Always We suck up in the stone age Gotta find a way to get back to the more days When the time makes some rhyming through the cold phase Anything to get back to the more ways Always We've been on a race trying to get it back Memories of a place we don't